Now, speaking of defense, Israeli ministers unveiling major details from recent military activities, including announcements in the coming laser defense wall and efforts to support the Lebanese army. Some analysts are arguing, however, that perhaps we're divulging a bit too much. Joining me with more is Israeli journalist and veteran security affairs commentator for Ynet, Ron Benishai. Ron, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much. Now, you know, actually, before we get to our main topic, though, uh, we've actually seen reports from the White House that the United States forces have assassinated the head of ISIS in Syria. Could you give us a, you know, a few words on this operation? Uh, based on inf on on a success of uh, ISIS in a raid on a prison in Syria where ex uh, members of ISIS are detained by the SDF, the Syrian Def uh, Democratic Forces, uh, mostly Kurdish uh, forces that uh, operate east of the Euphrates. Uh, the uh, leader of ISIS, Abu Ibrahim El Hashemi El Quraishi, nicknamed Abdallah Kradesh, uh, lived in Idlib, where most of the uh, uh, remain, remaining uh, fighters of ISIS are dwelling now after they were expelled from other uh, regions in Syria by the government and by the Russians. So he commanded a raid on the prison in Khasake wow. uh, that occurred about two weeks ago, and his communications enabled, I think, wow. the Americans to locate him uh, from their bases in Iraq and to raid his precise uh, hideout uh, in Syria. I want to move now on to, on to our main topic of discussion here. Prime Minister Bennett, uh, okay. you know, mentioned recently, updated uh, details on the laser wall, among other things. Uh, Bennett said that we'll be protected by the system within a year. What's wrong with that? It's not wrong. It's premature. But this is only experimental. And before Israel will have a real defense system, a laser defense system from rockets, it will take at least, I think, two to three years. And even then, let me, let me put it mildly, it will, be, it will augment and complement the Iron Dome. System. I want to move to, to maybe a different topic of, of Bennett's recent speech at the INSS. You know, in, in a recent op-ed, you actually discussed several issues with his, uh, with his methodologies of, of uh, maybe speaking too soon, as you just mentioned, among other things, uh, like harping on non-viable strategy uh, for comprehensive confrontation with, I with Iran, uh, but without Washington's aid or consent. This is a quote from your piece. Can you explain more on this, you know, and, and what else do you maybe take issue with? Uh, Bennett replaced wishful thinking, wishful thinking with a, 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 re, a factual report, which means he reported something that he wanted to happen, and I don't really see how he, he makes it happen, uh, with, as, as if it, it's already there. It is not there, and, and to be honest, I don't understand how he's going to make it happen. All right, well, I, I want to move now on to uh, Defense Minister Gantz, who is finishing up his, uh, his trip to Bahrain right now. Criticisms are coming from within Israel, but also from abroad, from Washington and Paris, among others, uh, over the defense minister's divulging that Israel attempted to aid the Lebanese military via UNIFIL, uh, up some four times, uh, apparently. What's wrong with this revelation? What? What's what's wrong what's with with, with with what's wrong with revealing this this information? Because apparently it, it was the re revelation of these details itself I, that I, angered I, I'll our allies. Tell you, I'll tell you because it is it is it is façon de parler, which means there is no chance in the world that the Lebanese army will accept this uh, generous offer because Lebanon is. A controlled and actually uh, effectively governed 
governed by Hezbollah, right. the Shiite militia loyal to Iran. And they will not let the Lebanese army, as weak as it is, to get help or to get gasoline or to get a, a food from, well, but how, from the but how Israeli does that reflect badly on, on Israel or in Defense Minister Gantz? I mean, couldn't the revelation actually, as far as PR is concerned, actually be a good thing for Israel? No, because it, it, yeah. it, looks, it looks like a hollow a PR a, a initiative that has no change, that everybody that knows something about the Middle East knows that that it is a hollow, a hollow suggestion that that the Lebanese army would not even uh, consider seriously, uh, because it is. Look, uh, uh, we forget, but the Lebanese army uh, sniper just a few years ago killed an Israeli officer. Yeah. So it it is not a a, a friendly. A, O operation or friendly organization uh, that that Israel is ready to help. Uh, it is it is a it is a state organization right. uh, of a state that is in a belligerency relations right. with Israel. So, so 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 what for making these hollow suggestion that n nobody really takes seriously? Mm. All right. Well. Ron Benishai, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you coming on and sharing your insights with us. My pleasure. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.